I always say that photography is my first true love and performance art is my melancholic mistress. And sometimes I like to bring them together for a polyamorous affair. And so I sort of came to art through photography and from photography actually moved to moving images, video art. And it made sense, I guess, from <clears throat> photography, the moving image, to then um, go into live performance art. If you look at the history of photography, you can see the presence of performance art, though not explicitly stated. The presentation of self in front of a camera, the performance of an identity in front of a camera. The photographs that I make from the performances are discrete art objects, not necessarily documentation of performances. And so, in my performances, I'm often performing for both the audience and the camera. But what the photographs attempt to do is talk about the nature of performance art and being there. You think about all those marvelous performances in the 60s or sometime a little bit before that were not documented or the film got lost or the cameraman was too stoned and didn't, didn't load the, the camera and there were no pictures. But what you did have was an audience that could talk about the piece, that could talk about the experience of being there. One thing I love about being in New York is the uh, more experienced sort of senior performance artist will often correct art history <laughs> in terms of performances that they remember being at. And they're like, oh no, that's not how that happened. Or they'll tell me about performances that I'd never heard of and there are no images of them. You know, I'm an audience sensitive artist. I am tasked with making myself vulnerable for the audience. And in many of my performances, I'm asking the audience to do the same. I think that what that means for me is, as a person who grew up, was born and raised in Baltimore, is that one is always been made, being made hyper aware of one's own body and social space. That there's a way in which the body is always on display, always under some kind of surveillance, or your body is being scrutinized by others as you move through space that may not perhaps be considered space as you should inhabit. So you're always aware of your body and Baltimore because in Baltimore you're so aware of death, you're so aware of people dying, you're so aware of people being sick, you're so aware of what drugs do to you, to your body and the people around you that you love, you're always aware of your body in Baltimore. I don't know, it's a tough question to ask artists why we do it. I think for some of us it's some sense of responsibility. For others, my, myself perhaps, it's, it's, it's a way to save my own life. That's why I do it. I have to save my own life.